when I set out to design a planner, I wanted one that helped me live a way that ultimately mattered. I wanted it to be a tool that would help me get to my eventual deathbed without regrets over how I spent my time. I also wanted it to be a place that could really hold its own in whatever season I was in. In those valley seasons, those mountaintop seasons, and the vast majority of the in-between. I just wanted to make it all count and not get it wrong. Most of the time, we're working on averages here. Before I welcomed my daughter and said goodbye to my dad, my life was the typical hustle and grind. Why there was still a lot of bumps, everything was moving along just fine. But I think we all at some point experienced this catalyst, like a very clear before and after that will knock you on your ass. I tried to think of a better word for that, <laughs> but it just didn't have enough like impact, enough punch. Like, butt just didn't seem like, you know, enough. So excuse my French there. This is where the opportunity comes in. So in the first video of the series, which you can find here, I talk about discovering what your true values are, or in other words, what matters to you the most, and then how you will live those out, which are your intentions. In the second video, you heard the tale of two women and how their days, even though they live similar lives, look differently simply because one was more intentional than the other. Now that you can see that intention matters, let me show you how to live out your intentions. It's through systems. I feel like I should do a word here, like systems, and it should come up in sparkly letters. Maybe I can edit that in. Probably not, I don't have those skills. But anyways, systems. So they say that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Harsh, but there is an element of truth there. It's saying that intentions alone won't get you where you want to be. I would argue that deciding what you're gonna do ahead of time is like, half the equation, but I digress. Anyway, you need action too, which is where systems come in, is where the rubber meets the road. So after you identify your core values and then set your intentions around those values, then you need to plan and execute. So let's talk about the plan. We need to set up our days, weeks, and months in a way that makes space and flow in order to execute. So what do your days need to look like in order to execute your intentions? Well, let's take health for example. So let's say one of your core values is health and your intentions around those is to eat nutrient dense foods like 80% of the time to uh, move your body and to get at least seven hours of sleep. So how do you engineer your days to make that work? So here's one idea of how you could do it, but everyone's life is unique and different, so this may look different for other people. So one idea is to wake up earlier than usual so that you can have some planning time to plan out your meals for the day or week ahead, and then to do some sort of exercise routine. Then to support your sleep, you count backwards from that wake up time, seven hours, so you know when to go to bed. And then you get into bed a little time before that because it takes a little bit to fall asleep. So you, you know, account for all that. If you're married and your marriage is a core value and one of your intentions is a weekly date night, then get that on the calendar. Get that in your schedule. And if there's anything else that you need to support that, then set that up. If you have kids, set up a reoccurring babysitter for those days. Make it as simple as possible. Maybe you decide for the month ahead which restaurants or things you're gonna do. Whatever you can do to set up a system for yourself and make it as easy as possible, as simple as possible, the better. Here's the bad news. Once you have these plans and systems in place, it's up to you to execute them. You've done all the work, you have it down, now it's truly up to you. And there's nothing I can do or someone else can say or do to make you actually do it. At first it'll be challenging. Doing a new system anytime can definitely be challenging. Maybe not at first, but maybe a few days in, the next week in, it becomes kind of a grind but stick with it and then it will become habit and it'll become second nature. Then you won't have to put as much effort into it. The last thing I wanna say is to write this all down in a planner. Finally, Heather, we are talking planners. So writing and planning in paper is not archaic. Um, to all my planner people, you understand this, but for so many other people, you're like, well, do you need papers? Online stuff. It is scientifically proven to vastly improve your success rate if you write it down in paper. That's why planners are an amazing tool to help support your intentions and increase the likelihood that you'll actually do it. Planning, like anything else, is a practice. You'll get the hang of it the more you do it. Plus, I'm here to help you along the way. In fact, 
I deeply believe this. I deeply believe that planning is a form of self-care. So that is why I created Sprouted Planners. They are not just a place to write down your meetings and your to-do list for the day. Not at all. They are also not goal-focused like so many other planners out on the market. They are specifically designed to identify what matters to you and create intentions based on those values and then give you the space and freedom to set up the systems that support your brain and lifestyle with dedicated areas for intention and reflection. Okay, wrapping this up, now you can understand how Sprouted Planners were created to help you live an intentional life through planning. You already know what's most important to you and how best to live out those values. You just need a place to write it all out and plan it into your unique days and ways. You don't need me to tell you what to track, how much water to drink, and force you to fill out a gratitude list. You get to decide what goes on your page. Whether you're in a valley, a mountaintop, or anything in between, these planners can serve you and your journey to a fulfilled life. Thank you for spending your precious time watching this video, friends. I cannot wait to show you the 2025 Sprouted Planners in the upcoming weeks so they can help you plan a life of meeting. I'll see you then.